Uh, extremely excited. Um, you know, uh, last year or you know last week, being on the road, 16 hours, North Dakota, um, having to actually you know get a home game this week and um, have family and friends come out and that sort of thing is going to be really exciting for all of us. And um, you know, it's a big step, and I think we can do great things this year. And uh, I think it'll be the start of something great. So. Uh, I don't know how much you guys buy into momentum, but last week's win has to help your guys' confidence going into the second week. Sure, I think uh, you know I think we're playing a much better team. Um, I'll say that, but uh, definitely, I mean, you you want to ride the momentum, and uh, you know I think uh, we're very confident. At the same time, uh, we got to go out and execute and um, just do what we do, play Cougar football like we always do. Um, but uh, but yeah, this is definitely a good team. Uh, but you definitely week by week just want to carry that momentum and just keep getting better and better. Same. Oh, St. Francis taking on St. Francis. What do you think about that? Uh, it's kind of odd. You know, I ask, people ask me, you know, who, who are you guys playing this week? We're playing the other St. Francis. So, uh, um, you know, I've Googled St. Francis a couple times, and that pops up instead of our school. But, um, so, uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. So, uh, um, it's, uh, it's, and it's more interesting conversation for sure. So. Have you been emphasizing anything specific in practice this week? <laughs> um, I think uh, just – we got a couple, a couple uh, new stuff here and there, a um, couple install stuff. Uh, but I think just execution on our base offense and that sort of thing, just getting really good at what we do, so we can expand on that as we keep going, week by week. And um, you know, you always want to have a base, con your base concepts, what you get really good at, um, run game and pass game offensively, and then kind of build on that. And defense is the exact same way. So uh, the big thing for us is just execution. Um, and then from there, just building, building, and building, and becoming uh, um, better at different things. So, what would your biggest concerns be going into the games this weekend? Um, and they're a good team. I mean, uh, they got some good athletes. Uh, uh, they can get behind you offensively and uh, um, defensively. They, they got um, good second level players and some decent third level, level players, and uh, um, they present a, present a real challenge sometimes in, uh, in the run game and um, pass game with pressure and um, good cover guys. So. Uh, I think they're a good team. I think it'll be a good indicator of where we're at. Um, you know, uh, I think probably uh, one of the better defenses we'll see this season. So, A lot of teams will, you know, really figure out how good they are in week two because teams can work on those first week flaws. What do you expect from your guys this week? Um, you know, I thought we came out pretty good this first week. Um, you know, it was a little tough telling with, uh, you know, competition isn't, wasn't as great as what we were used to. Um, but we didn't have as many mistakes as we usually do week one. We still made some mistakes, and we try to fight, fine tune on those. But um, but week two usually historically that I've been here the last um, four years, three years, um, you know, week two we've always come out much better and much sharper um, than week one. Kind of get all the jitters out, and then week two we really come out and polish up and um, execute and cut down on penalties and mistakes and that sort of thing. So um, I'm really excited to see how we come out and how we prepare. Like I said, I think it'll be a really good indicator for us for sure you're a Westfield guy right yes what did you think about the Colts news yesterday I saw that yeah it's pretty cool um it's funny I uh um I live near that area near Grand Park and everything it's it's right near the high school um and uh I remember coming back around my sophomore year left freshman year didn't come back for a while came back Christmas and that sort of thing and they started building construction I came back the next year and it was completely different place over there so it's it's insane that sports complex and um, my sister played softball over there, and uh, I played. When that first came out, I played a high school baseball game over there, um, high school baseball tournament. So it's really cool. Um, it's a cool complex. Uh, it's really good for Westfield. It's growing Westfield, and um, should be good for the football program too. So, are you a Colts fan at all? Yes. You're up one. Yep. I mean, for you being a Westfield guy, Colts are going to be in your backyard. Well, what was the? You know, how excited were you to hear that? I mean, extreme, extremely excited. Um, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, uh, be able to go there and, and, you know, parents live there and they can, you know, drive 10 minutes and go five, 10 minutes and go see the Colts practice. I think it's really cool. Um, you know, it's definitely good for the community as well. And like I said, Westfield's such a great place and, uh, you know, it's home for me. So uh, it was really cool to hear that. Any, uh, any, you know, excitement maybe as far as maybe you get a chance down there or something like that next year? Uh, we'll see. I mean, you never know. Um, you know, any team that would give me the opportunity, I would love to take it. Um, you never know what's going to happen. You just ask for a chance, and um, whatever happens, happens. So, um, but I would definitely like the opportunity with the Colts or you know any team for that matter that uh, that believes in me. So.